In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a mail merge in Microsoft Word 2016. The process is actually very similar to other versions of Microsoft Word as well. It's not identical. However, I'm going to go over it here in Office 2016. So let's say I have this long document here, and I want to do a mail merge and send this to individual software. For now, I'm going to create a new page here. I'm going to insert a new page, and I'm going to put their proper uh, their information in there for my users or clients, let's say. So in this case, I'm going to go under Insert, and I'm going to insert a page break, so just so that I have a blank page here to start with. And then in here, I'm going to make it so that this document can be customized for each individual. It has their address and their name and some kind of information as well. And by the way, this doesn't have to be a document like this. It can be a blank document, a letter that you sent. It could be invoices. It could be whatever notices that you send out there. It's very similar to letters that you receive from various companies out there that have your name on top of it. You have to have a document in Word, and you have to have an Excel document as well. And that's best to use Excel. Of course, you can have other options as well. So let's assume this is the list of my customers i have their first name last name the state address of course this is all fictitious the zip code and then a bunch of email addresses and you could have also comment one two three so this would be customized personalized comments so, so this is what the comment that i could write for example for customer one now customer two i would say and so on now, one key thing to remember as well as you build your list in Excel is that uh, the first row here needs to have the field names, or it's best to have the field names. So first name, last name, telephone, state address, and keep those separate as well if you can. Keep as many fields as you want here or columns with comments because you can utilize this for multiple mail merges. And the way you'll be doing it is that you can link the same data file and you keep on updating this from month to month and you link it to the same report or the same mail merge that you do for your customers. So in this case, let's say we are all good to go here. We have maintained this list. This is our customer list and so on. Notice that the tab here on the bottom, it says customer. So now I'm going to save it. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to go back to my document. Now in here, I want to create a new mail merge. So I go under mailings and then I go under start mail merge and the best thing to do is or what I'd suggest that you do is click on step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. In here notice that there is pane in the right hand side shows up and it asks you do you want to create letters, email address, email messages, envelopes, labels and so on. So you can do emails and that's a powerful feature and I'll try to demonstrate that in another video here or shortly here or actual letters like the old days that you used to do, print them in a paper and stuff them in an envelope and send them and that type of thing. So for now, we're gonna learn how to do letters. We click on next step to start the document. It says, do you want to use the current document that we have opened here? Or do you want to start from a template or do you want to use an existing document that you have from some other time? So I say, I want to use the current one. And then the next step here is to select the recipients. Now it says, do you want to use an existing list or do you want to create a new list? In our case, we are going to use an existing list, that Excel file that I opened a moment ago. Also, you can use Outlook if you use Microsoft Outlook as well. Now, type a new list. You can do it from here from Microsoft Word. However, I'd recommend create the list in Excel if you're going to have to create a new list because it's much easier to manage in the future and update. So we click here on uh, use an existing list. We click on browse and then we have to find the file. So now we scroll up here and I'm going to go to Word 2016 and this is my customer list for the mail merge. I click on open. That's my Excel file basically. And here is my customer table. Notice there are two sheets in there, but I want to use, remember I mentioned earlier, customer. Click OK. Now notice this is the list of all the customers in that Excel spreadsheet. You could also sort them a certain way if you wanted. So you can sort them alphabetically by first name, by last name, and all that type of thing. And then you can also filter them if you needed to. So let's say you want only by a specific zip code or by a specific criteria and so on. You could basically simply click on filter and choose a field name 
and uh, let's say here's a zip and you would say zip equal to some number or greater than some number and so on so in this case I'm going to cancel that you could uh, find duplicates to avoid sending duplicates and then you simply click on OK here at this point we are ready we have told the system that we're going to use the existing document and an existing list now the next thing it says write your letter now in my letter here it's saying well put in your address block I could put this by clicking on it or we could insert the fields manually I would recommend that you tinker with it manually so you could say dear and then choose here the insert field option so dear first name the computer will put the first name in there then you go to the next line here and then you start writing your letter basically now the other thing that you could do is in here you could put their address so that it'll be part of the envelope or however it's going to show up so we click here under insert field first name space last name and then insert field street address city comma state and the zip now those look coded but that's the computer is going to pull them one by one and match them with the excel spreadsheet so don't panic on that now in here you would write your letter you'd say below is the annual report for your investments let's assume this is an investment report and uh, if you have any concerns please contact us you could also insert here remember in Excel we had a comments field you could put a comments field in here now at this point you put your name there you could also insert an image if you needed to or a logo or whatever part of your uh, it's going to be duplicated across all the pages now at this stage you could simply actually save this if you were to save it at this point and you'd give it a name now the next step is the reason why I saved it is because you could at any point open this and it's going to pull your data automatically from your Excel file if you needed to do another mail merge in six months or whatever now the next thing here notice it says preview your letters so notice it says this is the address Alex and so on and you could kind of preview them right here next 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 now a lot of people they stop here but you need to finish to complete your merge you can click here under complete merge and then you can either choose to print them or edit individual letters now there's also a finish and merge option on the top here as well so in my case particularly what I usually prefer to edit individual letters and then I'm going to choose all of them now it's going to take a little while because I had 29 pages here and I have a lot of customers so notice now we have one letter or long report for every one of the customers here so notice we have here the first one is for Alex and now we have to keep on scrolling because this is a long report and now here's Amber it's the next customer and again like I mentioned it's going to be a long one so suppose you have two or three pages and this would be much more meaningful but basically we're creating a personalized report here for each one of the customers and here's for the next third one keep in mind again the key there is that this is the output at this stage if we were to look at the documents that I have opened here and apparently I have many of them but this is the one with merged results it says letters one word uh, this we can actually uh, trash it after we are done with it we don't need to save it unless you need it for documentation purposes this is our form so at this point if I close this and I save the changes if I go to open this again so this was the one for mail merge form notice it prompts you it says this opening this document will run the following commands select from customer order by first name and last name 
that you want to update it yes and now it's linking it to the excel file now at any point we can go here under mailings and it's ready we can simply click on finish and merge and it's going to merge all of those just like it did earlier so hopefully that is helpful and uh, keep in mind again before i end this session that you can always update the excel file and you can always reuse the form file the results page the merged results you don't necessarily need to save them unless you need to keep them for documentation purposes as to what you sent out